football. Uh, let's return to The Voice. Now joining us live, the Assistant Minister for Indigenous Australians, Malandiri McCarthy. Malandiri, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So it is a no uh, from morning. the Liberal Party following the Nationals. Not entirely unexpected, but your thoughts on that official position no. now? Well, you're certainly right on that uh, front, Pete. Uh, it was... Uh, not unexpected, I guess, uh, but it's still d d deeply disappointing. Uh, you know, we still have a way to go. There is a parliamentary inquiry underway now uh, to canvas uh, what Australian people think uh, in terms of the words that have been put uh, before the parliament in the legislation. So it is disappointing. There's no doubt about it. Um, Peter Dutton uh, mentioned yesterday that the Labor version is just going to be divisive. And people have accused him of being divisive. But nevertheless, Noel Pearson on radio this morning says Dutton is an undertaker preparing the grave to bury Uluru, guilty of Judas' betrayal of the country. I'm not sure who's being more divisive, but it just fits the general picture of this just being a divisive issue. What are your thoughts, first of all, on, on Mr Pearson's comments? Well, that's the first time I've heard it, Peter, and uh, clearly it sounds to me like... Uh, uh, a devastated uh, Noel Pearson to make those kind of comments. And I guess we are, are all going into Easter uh, and we know that Easter, for those who do uh, celebrate it or commemorate it, uh, know that it is a time of deep reflection and I guess that's uh, perhaps mm. uh, where Noel Pearson is coming from. But it's also, if I may add too, Pete, you know, for us up here, uh, we've just lost an incredible giant uh, in... Uh, Mr Yunapingu, and there is a great deal of sadness still here. I mean, I still feel deeply saddened uh, by what has occurred when we reflect on his achievements and his hopes uh, in particular for the Uluru Statement. Mm. Uh, do you share Mr Pearson's comments that, you know, Peter Dutton is essentially Judas? Well, I can certainly say that uh, there is deep disappointment. I would uh, certainly say to Peter Dutton that... Uh, remember that this has been a product of two parties walking together since John Howard, uh, obviously at different points. I mean, his own former minister, Ken Wyatt, uh, was able to carry it through quite productively through the last uh, parliament. Mm. And, uh, you know, it is obviously a sense of betrayal that uh, Noel Pearson feels. But I just want to bring it back to what the Australian people are also watching here, Pete, and that is that... They're watching politicians play it out and uh, it really does come back to the Australian people. What do you want? Mm. What do you want to see? And I think those conversations have to still be had. Just getting back to the Liberals' pitch then, I'll break it up here into a couple of different points. Would it not be more prudent and successful that Indigenous recognition is in the Constitution? That way you have guaranteed success because, because that will succeed. Well, he's moving the goalposts again. Uh, this always has been about what First Nations people have invited Australians to consider, and that is to enshrine the voice in the Constitution. And it's not my idea, it's not Anthony Albanese's idea, it's not our Cabinet's idea. This was the First Nations people who gathered at Uluru. It's their idea, their invitation, and it's not up to us to change that. OK. What about the suggestion or, or the, the policy to go bottom up, not top down, with regional and local voices there placed instead? Well, see, again, uh, there is an opportunity here, uh, certainly through uh, the parliamentary process, if we have a successful referendum, it will be the parliament that determines all of these things, Pete. And that seems to get lost in all of this. Mm. Uh, the Parliament is the one that's going to determine the model. The Parliament will be the one that determines how this is shaped. Uh, and that, if we have a successful referendum, is going to come down to each and every one of us who are in the Parliament. All right, but just to, just to take um, Peter Dutton's version of the words, the Canberra voice, how, how does a local or a regional voice uh, in an isolated area get picked up by, say, a Canberra voice? But I have to push back on that, Pete. It's not a Canberra voice. This is the Uluru Statement from the Heart. It's a First Nations voice. Uh, it's about people from around the country who will be able to contribute at the highest of levels, mm. uh, given whatever support they can be at their local and regional level. Uh, so it's not about uh, gaslighting the issue to say it's just about people in Canberra. 
This is about reaching out and empowering First Nations people at every level. His Historically, uh, referendums need bipartisan support. Uh, are you concerned that the Liberals' yeah. official position now has is, is killed it off? Look, of course, we've, we've come into this knowing how incredibly difficult it is. Uh, eight out of 44 referenda, uh, the stats aren't, aren't good, Pete, and we know that. But, but, and the Prime Minister has said this on a number of occasions, to not try, to not get out and try, uh, would be worse for us as a country and certainly incredibly devastating for the First Nations people who have worked on this for many decades. Malandiri McCarthy, uh, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you.